Hey everybody, this is Deanna Baker of D. Baker Designs and I am so excited today because I've been researching the internet for colored tubing and I uh, wanted something a little more flexible than plexiglass or acrylic hard tubing and I couldn't find it anywhere. So I started researching the internet and I found out that RIT now comes with a new dye called RIT Dye More. And what it is, is it's supposed to dye synthetic, um, so it's a synthetic fiber dye. So it's supposed to dye uh, different kinds of fibers, synthetics, plastics, and it says polyester, nylon, and acrylic. So I was so excited to see, well, would this work on plexiglass and tubing? And so I tried it this morning and lo and behold, the first color I tried was yellow. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make some twisty cool things for this uh, Flint Institute of Arts party they're having and their fundraiser. So we wanted tubing that you could, you know, light up or um, out of this cool fun table centerpiece that we're creating. So um, that was the first one and I thought, well, what if I added a little red to it would it become orange and it did look at look how vibrant and bright this is um, this was the first one after adding the red while this was in there so there's some spots where I kind of left it long and see where it turned red a little bit and then this was the last one and it was funny I turned off the heat because this stuff you have to put in water almost boiling um, and then you put the dye in there. So I turned it off, you know, thinking, oh, it would still be hot enough. But I turned it on a little lighter, which is kind of cool. Let's see. See the dark, almost red light. Of course, I poured the dye, like, almost straight on that. So, cool though, huh? But there is, um, things you have to watch. See right here where it got the dye soaked in. So... There's things that you want to watch for. Make sure it's all mixed well. Shake it. What right now I'm doing is I'm heating the water. Um, this pot I went to Goodwill and bought because I did not want to be mixing the stuff with the food um, that we eat or the pots that we use to eat. So I went and got one at Goodwill. Um, five bucks. So it has a lid somewhere. And then I got this there, because this is the rinsing bin. So what we're going to do is we're going to dip it in here, let it sit for a couple minutes, and then we're going to dip it in the cold water, and then dip it again. Um, you know, I did that a few times with the yellow, and it kind of got to a stage where it stopped turning more yellow. Um, so there seemed to be a limit to it. But this is vinyl tubing. And it dyed it like excited there's so much you could do with this so these are the colors I got I got purple pink yellow and red and yes you can mix them because I mixed these two to make orange so I thought oh and blue so I'm going to do blue next and then add a little yellow to it to make green. So, okay, this is hot, almost boiling, so I'm going to shake this really well. And you do want to wear gloves because it's a dye, it's a stain. So I just poured some in, and then I just test it um, to see. Stir it a little bit. I'm gonna turn this down to medium. Stir it well. See, I think it needs more. I put on my gloves so I don't pull a Darren and look like a Smurf. Let's see. Okay. Then I can test it. Now, I also did these. That is, I think, a poly. Poly. Esther or something um, and they don't twist as well and look as fun but 
Take a look at the blue. Yeah. I need more. I need more. Oh, also, let me show you. Turn this up just a little. Let's add some more. I put probably half the bottle. So I'll be doing a lot of dyeing. So this is what I will be dying. I got this at Lowe's because uh, I could not find the 100 foot at Home Depot. So I got this at Lowe's and it is clear vinyl tubing. This one's um, outside diameter of one half. See, comes in a big old roll. So what we'll do, I have a teapot here for later because um, sometimes when this gets low with water, you want to add more hot water to it. And I did that when I was mixing the colors. So cut this off. And then let's measure out, let's say three feet. This off of there. Win. Okay. <laughs> so, what I do is I make sure I'm getting some of the fluid in the inside as well, because you want to dye the inside and the outside. So I kind of just scoop it up. May need a little more dye. We'll see. Hm. Let's see if we turn on the light. That didn't do anything. Okay. So you can see it is 2.46. That's in the morning. Let's kind of see the blue in it, but I think it needs a little more. Yep, it's going to need more. Because look, at that's not even really dying. So I put it in the bath. It's cold water. Yeah, and it is just tinting it right now. So, we definitely want to add more. Actually, this is about maybe a little more than half. See how I got it in there and I just let it swirl. This one looks really thin. I don't know if I, I don't think I put too much water. Filled the water to, let's see, about a third because um, the water dissipates. So um, I'm gonna add a little more. Yes, so. Keep going until you find the right color. Let it sit for a couple minutes. Okay, so it's been about, I don't know, five minutes. I wasn't watching the clock. It's been enough time to where I can go get a light so we can see in here. Ooh, big difference, huh? Take this over, we'll rinse it. Now 
why this water looks to be, the water's not yellow, it's the bin. I think I dyed it earlier today when I was doing the orange and the yellow. So, give it a cool bath. See, it makes it brighter. So, you know what's cool about this tubing, I just realized, is it doesn't have any of the code on the side like a lot of tubing does. I got some at Home Depot. <clears throat> and it has like little writing down the side of it. And what I have to do, and I'm here too, this, this poly stuff, um, is take a little bit of um, nail polish remover or sometimes just alcohol will work because sometimes nail polish remover will make it foggy. And I take it off the sides here. Um, but this doesn't have it, which is exciting because that is less work that I have to do. That's awesome because I recommend Lowe's to get your tubing because it doesn't have the code and writing on it saying what it is because we don't want people to know that this is just you know, regular tubing. We want them to think it's fun, party, swirly whirlies. So, anyways, now I'm dipping it back in. Dang, that's vibrant. I was kind of scared about the blue because I wanted more of a shocking blue. Yeah, that's nice. But, um, you know what? I think this is going to be just perfect. Okay, so after this test one, I'll go ahead and put a few in at a time and then just let them soak. Anyway, as I cut more up, let's see, I've got three, four. We need 10 total. We're doing 10. I also got a thicker tube. Let me find it. And this doesn't have the writing on it either. Yay! So definitely, definitely go to Home Depot for your tube. Gosh, I'm programmed to say that. Home Depot. Definitely, definitely go to Lowe's to get your tubing. Lowe's. So this will make Five and a half feet. Let's see if they're going to mix. Oh, how vibrant that is. Is that awesome or what? Cool. So again, you can even don't suck up the dye, but make sure it's getting all in there. all the way through. See, I don't have the patience. I want to just keep dipping it. Pulling it out and dipping it. So, that's how you do the tubing. Now, after I'm done doing all the blue, I want to add a little bit of yellow and see if it turns green. Uh, we'll see. Make sure this pulls come out. We'll dip it in cold. Look at the final color. Ah, that's so cool. Kind of matches that lampshade I had right there. Yay. Here's my towel. Make sure you use an old towel. Too. Like this one turned all yellow from today. Now I'm sure it'll have blue on it. Look at that. It went from this to this. Awesome. Colored tubing that you can do anything with. We're going to make swirly whirlies. Oh, and I'll show you something. I'm going to put these in the top of them. Watch. Ta da! So it's going to look like this. There. And these are the coolest thing. The little ball lights. Let me see. Can you see? Against the ball lights. And we're going to shove them in the ends here. Of each one. And then it's going to do a swirly whirly. And then it's going to be lit from the base as well. So. 
and put a piece of wire in there so it stays. Actually, I have an example I'll show you. Here, I shove a wire in. And put this little guy up top. In there. Then I bend it the way I want it to go. Like that. Bend it the way you want it to go. Like that. And then watch. Boop. Isn't that cool? And then it's going to be lit from the bottom as well. Like that, and just keep turning it the way you want. And there we go. Isn't that cool? Alrighty. So, oh, I did. I took it off. Finish dyeing these all up, and then maybe we can see if it makes green when I add a little yellow. Is that cool? All right, talk to you soon. Bye.